hello hello everyone today in this video i would like to explain what are the questions frequently asking in interview for applying for, for a job in pharma industry like msc qualified students or even phd students also same questions qualified candidates also getting the same questions that question frequently they are asking uh, coupling reactions they are asking like i would say what um, just a second suzuki coupling how you keep suzuki coupling reaction they will ask then what you are the answer simple we know but we have to express that's the point there how you keep suzuki coupling reaction they will ask they will ask then what you will say that is suzuki coupling re in suzuki coupling reaction first of all first point is we will keep the reaction in sealed tube then so we have to prepare the ready for ready one sealed tube with bead then we have to add the starting material then you add the solvent solvents are usually estonatal water that is 3 is to 1 or dioxin water that is 3 is to 1 like that then next another substrate is that is boronic acid what is suzuki coupling reaction suzuki coupling reaction is between any aromatic halide aryl halides and boronic acids or boronic esters coupling then they will give biols right yeah mm. so what is the process how you keep the reaction in a lab chemistry lab tell me explain the first take the seal tube in that one uh, the bead is compulsory then you have to the add the starting material so dissolved in dioxin or one um, keep the nitrogen bomb purging purging means nothing but um, you have to keep the nitrogen gas into that um, by using the prick, um, by using the needle you have to bubbling the solvent to remove that means uh, in that atmosphere for every reaction in that atmosphere need that to these coupling reactions in that atmosphere need so while adding the uh, what uh, while adding the base bases so what what type of bases you usually use k3po4 okay sodium carbonate okay so every the base will be you have to keep dissolve in water that is suppose you are keeping small scale reaction that is nothing but 100 mg reaction uh, 100 mg scale then you have to add 1 ml water and 3 ml dioxin so in that 1 ml we have to dissolve that base and then add to the reaction it will go good otherwise if you add uh, sodium carbonate or k3po4 uh, any base you are adding to the reaction that will not dissolve completely then it will affect the reaction not go so it's the best way to dissolve the base and keep it in uh, then add the water so next finally finally you have to add the pelladin catalyst 
what what type of catalyst you will use generally the advanced catalysts are xcos palladium g2 xcos palladium g3 palladium dppf cl2 these type of um, i will go um, easily so um, uh, that's the uh, after completion it will take um, suzuki coupling reaction generally completes in 3 to 4 hours enough 3 to 4 hours it will complete then after completion of reaction what you have to do you have to do filter the reaction mixture through silate bed since why this palladium catalyst will if we do not if we do not filter through the silate bed and uh, directly we will do the uh, column it will affect the um, well purification some problem will come by it will come palladium catalyst and your compound emulsions formation the, uh, that uh, so and so then it will affect the purification problem so we have to form filter the reaction mixture through silate bed then that reaction mixture will be we have to do the workup with the telestate and uh, water, uh, water and brain solution wash up washing then you will get the reaction mixture uh, so that organic layer you have to dry the sodium on sodium sulfate then you have to do the rotor vapor concentration then you do the silica gel uh, slurry preparation then go to the column purification that's it that is enough then another question what you are using uh, simple questions they also they will ask sometimes suppose uh, how you prepare the six molar koh solution they will ask then what you will say what you will say tell think about it that is koh Suppose KOH molecular weight, what is molecular 56? 56, um, so 56 grams you have to dissolve it in 1000 ml of water, that is one molar solution. Uh, then 6 molars you want, so you what you will do into 6 into 6 then uh, you will get the um, 6 molar solution understand confused 56 grams in 1000 ml gives 1 molar solution so according to that uh, cross call cross multiplication calculations you can synthesize easily and uh, one more thing uh, yeah how you keep debug reaction tell the process debug reaction is it's a very simple reaction you will use definitely um, um, generally use four molar HCl in one four diagen uh, will it will be enough it will be around uh, one to two hours if the reaction will be complete um, so like this the questions are there so i will come with another video um, with more information thank you